Hi there, and welcome to Beckman Bog, one of the sites I collect data at here at Cedar Creek Ecosystem Science Reserve. This project is directed by Dr. Rebecca Montgomery and is part of the National Phenology Network, a group that monitors plant and animal phenology in the United States with the help of government agencies, nonprofit groups, educational institutions, and citizen scientists. Dr. Montgomery's broader research interests include forest ecology, plant functional ecology, and global change. Currently, her core research addresses the effects of projected climate change, including warming, drought, and elevated CO2 on various North American ecosystems, including temperate and boreal forests, prairie grasslands, and peatlands. Dr. Montgomery also leads the Minnesota Phenology Network, an organization that monitors phenology, shares their observations, and increases environmental awareness and education. The term phenology is derived from the Greek words phaino, to show or to bring light to, and logos, to study. Phenology is, simply put, the study of seasonal changes in the life cycles of plants and animals, especially in relation to climate. This can include biological appearances and events such as the budding of trees, the migration of birds, and reproduction in plants and animals. Phenological data is often correlated with seasonal and climatic data to gain a greater understanding of the effects of abiotic factors on plant and animal growth and development. Knowledge gained from the study of these trends can help inform farmers when to plant and harvest crops, give guidance to the management of invasive plants and insects, and also help predict events related to human health issues such as mosquito emergence and pollen release. Phenology records help scientists identify trends and potentially predict future changes. Phenology is also important in an ecosystem context, as many species depend on one another for survival. For example, a plant species may be reliant on insects for pollination and reproduction. If the plant is a responder, meaning that it responds to a changing climate, perhaps by blooming earlier, and the pollinators are non-responders, there may be a mismatch and pollination may not occur thus limiting re reproduction of the plant species. Many phenological changes are simply unknown at the species level, even though these changes may have large impacts at the ecosystem level. Monitoring phenology allows us to understand the effects of environmental changes on individual spe species, giving us an idea of which species can adapt to a changing climate and which may struggle to survive. You may want to start your own phenology observations at home or at your favorite park nearby. It is free to create and utilize an observation account with Nature's Notebook online. Your records will help researchers gain a greater understanding of how species are responding to the changing climate, and you may find yourself developing a passion for closely observing the ecosystems around you. Now, let's take a look at some of the plants we track here at Cedar Creek. Black spruce, scientific name Picea mariana, is one of the species we track here at Cedar Creek Ecosystem Science Reserve in Beckman Bog. This here is one of the southernmost stands of black spruce in Minnesota. Minnesota's climate will grow considerably warmer and probably drier during this century. The future impacts will be felt most strongly in the summer. By 2095, Minnesota summers could resemble those of current day Kansas. What do you think that means for a species like black spruce that is already at its southernmost range? Another coniferous tree we track here at Cedar Creek is the tamarack, scientific name Larix laricina. Tamarack is known as a deciduous conifer. Unlike many other conifers, it drops its needles every year. 
Tamarack once was the most common tree in the state, and it is one of the species chosen for focused observation by the Minnesota Phenology Network. Leatherleaf, scientific name Camadaphne colliculata, is another species we track here at Beckman Bog at Cedar Creek. Leatherleaf is related to the blueberry and is considered an evergreen shrub as it can retain its greenish leaves throughout the winter. The phenological stage that this plant is in, also termed a phenophase, is fruiting. You can see right here there are small reddish brown fruits that have formed but have not yet ripened or fallen. These are all observations that we record in the Nature's Notebook app. Red maple, scientific name Acer rubrum, is another species chosen for focused observation by the Minnesota Phenology Network. It is widespread in Minnesota and also found all the way from Florida to Newfoundland, making it a valuable species for comparison across many different locations. The blue bead lily, Clintonia borealis, is another species we track here at Cedar Creek in the uplands surrounding Cedar Bog Lake and along the trail to Cedar Bog Lake. You can see here that it is in the fruiting stage. Thank you for joining me to hear about the work of the Montgomery Lab and learn a little bit about phenology at Cedar Creek Ecosystem Science Reserve. Please post any questions you may have on our social media pages and I will try to address them throughout the week. Thank you again and happy phenology tracking.